Mutton masala is a huge name. It can refer to any mutton dish cooked in an Indian style. There are so many different kinds of recipes, such as Really, there are hundreds. But today, we are going to look at my grandmother's signature dish, Atas Mutton Masala. Let's take a look at the ingredients. First, you will need 2 kilos of boneless mutton pieces and with that, add half a cup of ginger garlic paste. Add 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder and also add in 1 teaspoon of salt. Gently massage all the spices together with the meat and let the meat marinate for a few hours. Now let's take a look at the other dry ingredients. You will need 2 tablespoons of cumin 5 cardamom pots, 2 cinnamon sticks, 10 cloves and 2 pieces of star anise. For the wet ingredients, you will need 2 tablespoons of red onion paste, 3 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste, 2 stalks of curry leaves and also 8 candle nuts finely crushed with a mortar and pestle. You will need a teaspoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of black pepper powder, 4 tablespoons of garam masala, 2 tablespoons of meat curry powder, 3 tablespoons of chilli powder, some water, salt and also some coriander leaves to garnish. Let's get started. Heat the oil in a pan and fry the dry spices. Put in the red onion paste and sauté until golden brown. At this point, the ginger garlic paste can be added in. And then curry leaves, about two stalks, are also added in. Sauté until the smell of raw garlic is gone. Now here we have the luscious meat marinade. Slowly introduce them to the spices. Gently coating the succulent mutton with all the fragrant spices. The mutton will absorb the liquids and this is when some water is poured in. In goes the turmeric and replacing the coconut milk, crushed candle nuts are used as a substitute. This is a healthier way to thicken the gravy. In a medium flame, let's let the mutton cook for a good 15 minutes. Now, let's turn this dish into a real masala. A tablespoon of black pepper powder, some garam masala, how much? Mm, all of it, apparently. And the curry powder. And don't forget the chili powder. A good cook follows instincts and it takes years of experience. We can watch and hopefully learn how much to put in. Some salt water to taste. And the next step, well, it requires a good eye. The right amount of water. We're almost done. In a medium to low fire, let the mutton masala simmer for a while. Now, we are going to steal some of the rich meaty gravy, about 2-3 to three cups, to be used to flavour the biryani rice. That will be for our next recipe, so don't forget to watch that as well. There we go. Prepare the cilantro or the coriander, whatever you like to call it. Look at that, the mutton is now nice and cooked and this is where you could sprinkle it and give it a good stir. And there you go, 
my grandmother's signature dish served during special occasions and festivals and sometimes if you just want to have a good dish Atas Mutton Masala Like and subscribe and Diao's channel will not disappoint you. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Cheers!